Someone asked me a question on Twitter and the question was, please, how did you actually combine school with tech, the learning, building of projects and the rest? It's almost impossible for me. I thought to make a video where I share my answer to this question. But the first thing I want to say before I give my answer is I survived and so you will also survive. Combining tech career or tech journeys, however you want to put it, with your studies can be actually difficult. It was really difficult for me and I know there may be some people who have systems in place that makes it possible for them to combine these things without their studies being affected or without their tech journeys being affected but it was it was difficult for me and I'm going to be very honest in this video I also want to say that because we are all different people what applies to me may not be the best thing for you so I would say you also figure out the best ways in which you can combine these things the first thing that i think helped was the fact that i accepted that one is going to suffer in favor of the other i have my studies i have my tech journey for me to grow in my tech journey my studies is going to be affected and i accepted that so even when i spent more time growing in my tech journey and everything at the back of my mind somewhere i was like i would not be surprised if i don't eventually come out with the first class my 100 level 200 level i was very focused on you know getting first class from 300 level when i started getting serious with tech then i knew okay now i have a distraction my final year when i finally got my result and it wasn't first class i wasn't surprised so i accepted that fact it's not like i didn't care about my studies it's not as if i didn't care about my grades but i just enjoyed my tech journey more and i'm going to talk more about that in the second point but the things that I had in my life that made it possible for me to accept that fact was number one I knew I was somebody who could easily understand something and for the ones that I cannot understand I would cram it instead and if you don't know what cramming means uh, how do I even explain what cramming means cramming is when you read something you don't necessarily study or understand it you just read it you save it in some part of your brain and when you go to the test or the examination hall you just pour it directly from your head and of course cramming is not a very effective process because there is only a number of things that you can actually store in your head without forgetting them number two was the fact that I had friends around me very intelligent very brilliant friends for the things that I couldn't understand if I could get a time with them and they explain these things for me I would understand they are also very good at teaching and for the ones that they explain and I still cannot understand I resort back to cramming the second thing that made it possible for me to combine my tech journey and my study was also the fact that I was studying computer science in school the fact that I wasn't studying like an entirely separate field than my tech journey I think that actually helped let's say I was studying maybe electrical engineering you know let's say microbiology these are things that are quite separate from my tech journey I think it would have been even harder to combine these things together but for the fact that I was studying computer science and I was also working in tech even though my learnings in tech were more towards web development and this wasn't something that I was actively learning in my studies I just think the fact that it was still computer science actually helped and like I said in my point one it wasn't like I didn't care about my grade it's not as if I didn't care about my studies anymore I still cared but I enjoyed my tech journey more because in my studies it was mostly stories and theories and less practical so for me at the point it became boring but in my tech journey building websites playing around with programming languages and seeing the results of what I built that was more fascinating for me and that was why I was more inclined towards that than my studies I was still taking notes I was still studying but more of my time was spent towards my tech journey the third reason that I think made it possible for me to combine these two things was the fact that I didn't have a social life or let me say I didn't have a fun life and when I say I don't have a 
social or fun life what i mean is you would really find me watching movies on my laptop you'd really find me playing games on my laptop you'd really find me visiting friends hanging out with friends taking a walk with friends and all those other things and i'm not saying that is the best life to live for me it's paid off but i don't recommend that you shouldn't have a social life but i think the fact that i didn't have all these other things that would have taken my time it allowed me to spend more time in my tech journey and also the time that i dedicated for studying my courses or my books for example whenever my friends are out hanging out with their friends or they're watching movies you'd find me on my laptop watching tutorials or building projects or doing one thing or the other the fourth thing that made it possible for me to combine these two things and i think this one applies to when i eventually got a full-time job so i got a full-time job while i was in my final year this was during the lockdown my school went on break for a couple of months and within those months i got my full-time job now what also helped that time was as my final year my final semester when we eventually resumed the fact that we didn't have a lot of classes helped i think most of our classes were kind of online and also the lecturer would give us like notes to go and study so i think that also helped because yeah i didn't have to like go to class or anything i could study in the night i could study whenever i felt like and i could still focus on writing my articles and working in my full-time job and when i had my final exams i simply took some weeks off the office and i explained to my manager that i'm having some examination so they actually knew i was in school but then i made it clear to them that it wouldn't distract my work if it wasn't possible for me to take time off or if we're having a lot of classes in school then my academics would have really suffered because then either i start missing classes or i start focusing less on my full-time job and more on school so i think that is it for how i survived i got asked this question and yeah thinking about it now like how exactly did i even survive this these were the four points that i could remember you're probably also in the same situation right now where you're thinking about you know how can i combine this i think from everything i've said here i would say find a system that works for you maybe you do your studying in the night you do your learning in the morning find whatever works for you in my own case i didn't have a social life if you're trying to combine a social life with yours then you also need to plan your time better so that you can still dedicate it to the things that you would like to learn but that is my simple advice and that is how i survived while i was in school if any of these things i shared helps you or inspires you or teaches you something just let me know in the comments and also share this video for whoever could find it helpful also give it a like and if you haven't subscribed yet i hope i've given you a reason to peace